Record. All righty. This is session recap for the 24th day of October. And this morning we were watching as a dollar index. And that last night it initially went down and then it totally came back up. We're running off of equilibrium, which is a little line right in here. You can see that line. Uh, that's where the, the dollar index is correctly priced technically and fundamentally right where we are right now. Uh, now, traders don't make any money at the correct price. They make money at the deviation of the correct price. All right? So when they came off that correct price down here, they made money down. Then they made money up. And they're going to go up here. They'll make money up. And they'll make money back down. All right? So be careful because the dollar is going sideways. All right? right now, we got it going up. All right, so with dollar going up, we got euro coming down. There she goes, right to the ATR. Surprise, surprise. And let me pull the ATR up here. There we go. All right, euro dollar ATR is 74 pips. All right, so if the dollar keeps going up, watch for 74 pips down in this area. It's a nice little area down there. The only problem is it's the euro dollar, which is a dog. All right, then over to the pound dollar. Well, doing really well, right down to its target. No problem at all. We're looking for a continuation tonight if the dollar keeps going up into this area down here. Pound dollar has 101 pip ATR. Dollar Swissy, right? Dollar Swissy, almost a target. Missed it by about three pips there. That's all. And it's done, right? Now, if the dollar goes up, look for it to continue up tonight. It has a 67 pip ATR. That's two T30s, one, two. Coming up in this area right up here, 90, 20 area probably. Dollar yen, all right? Dollar yen following that dollar index. See how it went down during the night, then went up, right? So let's get rid of this. And uh, dollar yen has a 68 pip ATR. And uh, we'll put that, we have a new low down here. We go up 68 pips. And there we go. There's a target up. And as you see, we're only about 15 pips away from target right now. Nothing to do there. Aussie dollar. Uh, Aussie dollar will try to go up all night and uh, day it did get, get quite a bit of a movement here but not enough to get to target and now the dollar going up this is going to make the turn down all right so uh, the turn down Aussie dollar uh, would be looking for 62 pips to the downside put the fib on the uh, we have a new high here we take the high and we go down for 62 pips and that'll be the target for tonight uh, for today, I should say, right down here. After five o'clock, you're going to get a new ATR and uh, watch for it. All right. So you don't have a lot of space down here. Dollar keeps going up. You do have a trade here for about 65 pips, and that's within the range of its uh, ATR. Be careful. Your yen. All right. Made the turn easily. Uh, we made money on that blog post yesterday up. Nice. Came down to the pip to its ATR. And uh, Euro Yen has an ATR of 111 pips to the pip to, its, uh, to that. Pound Yen, same thing, all right? When the dollar was going down, it went up. When the dollar went down, it went uh, up, it went down, all right? We're just shy of the target here by about maybe eight, nine pips, and that's all right there. They'll probably easily take that out today. And uh, Pound Yen has an ATR of 142 pips. New Zealand dollar, all right, dollar going up. This should go down. Our target is here at 58.15, but we got, there's no room in here. There's only 30 pips. You got a range bottom and you got the fib here. There's no trade on the New Zealand dollar. Just walk away. New Zealand dollar does have a 58 pip ATR. Aussie yen, all right, almost a target now. We got another 20 pips or so. Now 30 pips or so right there left in it. Aussie yen has an ATR of 77 pips. All right, so there we go. Uh, uh, they could, Andy. Yeah. And that, in fact, that's your risk. So that's why that if you take the trade there, you, you got to move your stop. So you anticipate that. So whatever the A wave is, all right, so you measure the A wave and then you get a B wave. Okay. Whatever that A wave is, is what the C wave is going to be. You know where the end of that ABC is going to come and you need to have your stop above that top right there. See? All right. Good question, by the way. All right. Over to uh, Euro Aussie. Euro Aussie easily went to his target. This is why you hold. You pick up 90 more pips by holding and not limiting <clears throat> right there. Euro Aussie, it's our real estate of the month trade, one of them. And no, it isn't either. Sorry. Uh, 105 pip ATR. And you see, they've almost, the bottom is right here. So they're almost to the bottom right now. 
All right, uh, 105 pip ATR, dollar keeps going up. Look for 105 pips down. All right, same thing here on Pound Aussie. All right, that was our uh, one of our real estate of the month trades right there to the down. It was originally to the upside. When they flipped it, we go to the downside. Real estate of the month, we're looking to come down here to 88.59. All right, so might finish that this week. All right, for those of you who are not in fast track. Big space right in here. Uh, Pound Aussie has an AT. I mean, Pound Aussie has an ATR of 124 pips. Right? You're in New Zealand. Uh, you're in New Zealand. Right down to its ATR, no problem. Right there, and put a little bit extra in here. Our target is down here at uh, 81.24. You're in New Zealand has an ATR of 132 pips. Watch for that down in this area. If dollar keeps going up, right? Pound New Zealand. Uh, Pound New Zealand, uh, we have a couple traders in this, and this morning it was a blog post and uh, didn't quite get the target. It's over now, as you can see. We're already back up to the 50%. Uh, watch for the B wave, Andy. Here you go. So if this is the A wave and it stops here and then it puts the B wave in, all right, whatever that A wave is, is where the C wave is going to end. So that C wave would be up in there somewhere. All right, then watch for the turn to the downside if, if the market's, if the dollar's still going up. The market is not going up and the dollar is going down, then you watch for the breakout up. All right. All right. If you don't watch in the dollar, and dollar index, you're not trading, you're a gambler. All right. New Zealand yen going nowhere, just sideways here. Our target is down here at 8707, and uh, New Zealand yen has an ATR of 75 pips. Can't trade the Aussie Swissy, the ATR is too low. Uh, pound Swiss, you can barely trade it. It's only 50, 69 pips. And as you can see, they're just shy of it right now. Nothing to do, but tonight, 69 pips is one, two. There's 60 pips there. Looking to come down to zero, 1.0800 if the dollar keeps going up. Remember, see what it did against the dollar. That's why you know what it's doing. All right. Uh, finally, Aussie, New Zealand, and uh, went right to target without any problems as, as a very low ATR. It's 54 pips is all. And it easily went there, and then it went to the next target right there, which gave him 55. All right. So there we go. All righty.